In this video, we're going to discuss IP Term, which is a Docker appliance available in the GNS3 marketplace. GNS3 has a VPCS built in, but a VPCS is very limited, even though it does give you a lightweight PC solution. GNS3 has supported Docker since 1.5. Docker provides the ability to create a very lightweight PCs in your GNS3 topologies. If you're not sure what Docker is, please view the video linked below where I explain Docker and the advantages of using Docker. So to get started with IP Term, go to the GNS3 website, click on Marketplace, click Appliances, and search for IP Term. Select the IP Term appliance and download the template. In this example, I'm using a Mac and a version 2.0.0 RC1 of GNS3. The process, however, is very similar if you're using a Windows PC. The IP Term appliance has been downloaded to my Mac, but it changed the extension to TXT, so I'm going to change it back to GNS3 Appliance. To import the appliance, go to File, Import Appliance, find the appliance that you downloaded. In this example, it's IP Term. Click Open and follow the prompts. So we told that IP Term is a Debian-based networking toolbox. It contains the following utilities, net tools, IP route to ping, trace route, curl, host, IP per three, MTR, SOCAT, SSH client, TCP dump, and multicast testing tools. So this is a very versatile appliance. It's gonna be available in the guest category. The product is IP Term. It's maintained by the GNS3 team. I'm gonna click Next. Now it's recommended that the appliance be run on the GNS3 VM. That's what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna click Next. We told that one adapter is available and the image that it's gonna use is IP Term latest. I'm gonna click Next. We told again that the appliance is available in the guest category. The root directory is persistent. That's important when using Docker containers. When you spin down Docker containers or turn them off, they lose their configuration. So if you want persistent data somewhere, you need to store it in the root directory. I'm gonna click Finish, and we told that IP term is installed. I'm gonna browse the end devices category and notice IP term is available. Now notice what happens here when I drag IP term to the workspace. Files are downloaded automatically from the internet. So my Docker container is being set up. I'm told that the image has been successfully pulled but be aware that when you add IP term to your topology for the first time, it's gonna download files from the internet. In this example, I'm gonna connect the IP term one host to the internet. So I'm gonna use a NAT cloud and connect the IP term host to the NAT cloud. Now in this example again, I'm using GNS3 version two. If you are using an older version of GNS3, you'll need to use the internet cloud. So I'm gonna turn on the IP term host and open up a console. Notice the host has already started. So let's do that process again. I'm gonna turn off the host, turn it on and open up a console. Notice it's already booted up. This is a container, boots up very, very quickly, unlike a traditional PC. ifconfig shows me that I have a eth0 interface and a loopback interface. 
One of the skills that you as a network engineer need to gain is Linux skills. Linux and Python and network programmability, network automation, and other software-defined technologies are gonna be shaping networking in the coming years. I'm gonna be developing both Linux and Python courses to help you learn these technologies. But notice as an example, we should use the IP address command rather than ifconfig, which is an older way of doing things. What you'll notice is we have a loopback interface and an ethernet zero interface, but no IP address has been applied to eth0. So what I'm gonna do is turn off the IP term host, right click and go to edit config. What this allows me to do is change the network configuration by removing the comments. In this example, I'm gonna use DHCP. So I'm gonna uncomment these two lines. If you wanna set up a static IP address, you could uncomment these lines. I'll show you that in a separate video where I integrate IP term with Cisco routers. For now, I'll simply use DHCP because the NAT node is gonna allocate an IP address to IP term. So I'll start the device up and open up a console. Notice it's sending discover messages and has now obtained an IP address through DHCP. So ifconfig as an example shows me the IP address allocated to the host or IP address shows me the address allocated to the host. So ping google.com. I'm able to ping Google from IP term, which is connected to the NAT cloud. This configuration is persistent. So you don't need to change that again. When you turn off the container and start it up again, the DHCP configuration is remembered. And notice I have an IP address through DHCP and can once again ping sites on the internet. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.